May 7th, 2016, William Gadouri, a 15-year-old boy from Quebec, Canada, made a presentation that caused a frenzy in the academic world. I have discovered a long-lost ancient Maya city. The fact that this boy, who has never been to a Mexican jungle, made the discovery of a century is crazy. Even archaeologists could not have done that without field exploration. It all started in 2012, during the worldwide uproar caused by the Maya calendar doomsday prophecy. Gadouri, who was 12 years old at the time, was deeply impressed by the fact that ancient Maya people already had an accurate astronomical cycle system. This includes the 365-day solar calendar, the 583-day Venus cycle calendar, and the 780-day Mars cycle calendar. Completely immersed in the Maya civilization, Gadouri began collecting books and information related to the topic, until suddenly he became curious. I did not understand why the Maya built their cities away from rivers, on marginal lands and in the mountains. They had to have another reason. And as they worshipped the stars, the idea came to me to verify my hypothesis. I was really surprised and excited when I realized that the most brilliant stars of the constellations matched the largest Maya cities. Gadori knew that the Maya people considered the sun, moon, and planets as their gods, and that they made calendars based on the movements of the gods, called the celestial cycles. This led to his hypothesis that Maya people used astronomy as the basis of their city building. Thanks to one of the four Maya ancient books, the Madrid Codex, he was able to analyze 23 constellations. With the help of Google Earth, he used transparent sheets to trace constellations the Maya people were able to see, then overlaid them onto the position of Maya cities on a paper map. The result was shocking. The constellations share the same exact location with the city. A total of 117 cities were lined up alongside the constellations, including the famous Chichen, Itza, and Uxmal. Cities were built below 117 out of 142 stars, with the accuracy rate of around 82%. The largest city was built below the brightest star. But there was something strange. Only two cities were discovered at a certain point where three stars lie. I am sure that there is a yet-to-be-discovered Maya city there. Kaduri identified the Yucatan Peninsula in southeastern Mexico as the location of the third star in the unknown Maya city. He even named it Kakchi, or the Mouth of Fire, as he is certain that the 118th Maya city, left undiscovered for around 800 years, is located in a thick jungle. Much to his surprise, his dream came true just one year later. At the age of 13, Kaduri turned his hypothesis into a report and submitted it to a school science competition. He eventually won the grand prize. As a result, he was able to establish relationships with various professional corporations, thus spurring him to prove his hypothesis. First, he requested Canadian Space Agency provide him images of the area taken by their Radarsat-2 satellite. Radarsat-2 is an advanced Canadian satellite system that is able to capture forest areas in 3D. Not only the CSA, but NASA and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency have also decided to provide high-resolution satellite images to help his research. Still unsatisfied, Gaduri personally contacted operators of over 100 websites that specialize in publishing satellite images to obtain specific images from 2005. 2005 was chosen because it was the year when a large wildfire broke out in the Yucatan Peninsula. He presumed that it might be difficult to observe the area for additional confirmation, as it is now a thick jungle. His efforts resulted in the following. Unnoticeable, naturally formed geometric structures were discovered in the middle of the jungle in the Yucatan Peninsula. With the help of satellite imagery and digital image processing, it has been confirmed that there are over 30 structures. This includes an approximately 86 meter tall structure presumed to be a pyramid, as well as a passageway with a maximum size of 1200 HA. Experts believe that it is highly likely to be the fourth largest Maya city ever discovered. The story of a boy who discovered a lost city in the jungle purely online was first introduced in local Canadian media, Le Journal de Montreal. It was then reported in other media all over the world, such as CBC, BBC, and CNN. Additionally, the full-text version of Gaduri's report was also published on famous overseas community sites. Thousands of comments were posted on the article, making it a daily hot topic. Thanks to his popularity, Gaduri was also invited to an international science competition in Brazil. Though the cost is astronomical, the boy expressed his desire for jungle exploration, as well as his ambition to unearth the mouth of fire himself someday. However, it did not take long until he faced unexpected fallout. This whole thing is a mess. A terrible example of junk science hitting the internet in free fall. The ancient Maya did not plot their ancient cities according to constellations. Seeing such patterns is a Rorschach process, since sights are everywhere and so are stars. The square feature that was found on Google Earth is indeed man-made, but is an old fallow cornfield, or milpa, 
Many scholars all over the world, including a prominent researcher on the Maya civilization, Dr. David Stewart from the University of Texas, doubted Guidry's discovery. Veteran archaeologist Dr. Robert Rosenzweig, who uses advanced exploration equipment called LIDAR to help him unearth historical sites, agrees as well, thus raising suspicions that the lost city did not even exist in the first place. That area of Mexico is not that inaccessible, and it is fairly well known, so the idea that a large-sized city could go undetected, although not impossible, is highly unlikely. I would be willing to bet that's not a pyramid. It looks like a depression. Such remarks lead us to question, is the mouth of fire merely a young boy's dream? Or is it actually a yet-to-be-discovered ancient city hidden deep in the jungle? As of now, no one knows. But the truth may be revealed very soon. Gaduri planned to prove his discovery for a while, and he has been working towards it step by step. The first thing on his list was to make his hypothesis known worldwide, which he already accomplished. The second thing was to prove it by personally going on an exploration. Summer 2022, six years after he publicized his first report, 21-year-old Gaduri left for the Yucatan Peninsula jungle with an exploration team of archaeologists and a CBC documentary crew to film the whole process. Will he finally be able to find the Mouth of Fire? Yes, we have all seen the same patterns. There are Aztec cities that align with the constellation of Orion, and Inca sites that align with Sirius. I think scientists are jealous. Sometimes they are scared of new ideas. They're afraid to have their established ideas criticized. I do really want them to have more open minds and to listen to other ideas. This has been Strange Night.